Good evening and welcome to Experience Bar, where we're turning video games into cocktails. My name is Jack and I'll be your bartender for this evening, so I show you how to create the only drink guaranteed to give you slag powers, Iridium from Borderlands. Let's get started. Alright, so the Iridium, you will need your shaker half filled with ice. You're going to start with one and a half ounces of gin. I am using Lighthouse Gin, a, a New Zealand gin, but feel free to use whatever gin you particularly like. Just make sure it's a nice, clean gin. Follow that up with three quarters of an ounce of blackberry liqueur. I am using... I actually don't know, cut that bit. <laughs> Follow that up with half an ounce of a very smoky whiskey. I am using Ardberg 10 year. You can also use uh, Lefroy 10 year or any other smoky whiskey that you like. I highly recommend uh, Isla whiskey if you can. Uh, don't use a very, very expensive one. Uh, the uh, Ardberg 10 year is a, a good choice. And finally, no, not finally, half an ounce of lemon juice and half an ounce of simple syrup. Now, that three quarter ounce of uh, blackberry liqueur might be sweeter than mine, your version, so this bit is optional. Mine's a little bit on the more sour side, so keep that in mind. Lovely. And we are going to give it a traditional shake. And now you will need a, a wine sphere, uh, and to do this properly, to do the garnish properly, uh, you'll need to have a lemon wheel set up uh, rosemary or thyme, whichever you've got, um, set up and then put the ice over the top so it weighs the uh, garnish down so it doesn't float to the top as you strain it in, which we're going to do now. Look at that lovely pinkish purple. Now your garnish will move a little bit, but that's fine. And the final bit, you can't practice this so this might go desperately wrong, so I'll see you in the outtakes if it does but we are going to light the garnish to give a little bit of smoke. Ideally, you would do this with a uh, fire extinguisher on hand and also a butane torch, but a regular old lighter is fine. Whew. That is the Iridium. Okay, so uh, for smoke alarm reasons, there is literally a smoke alarm right there. We have doused our thyme, or our rosemary, as we're using here. Cheers. Woo! Yes. Okay, so I love Borderlands for one simple reason, okay? Uh, it has a feature that very, very few modern games seem to bother implementing, and that is local, split screen, couch, co-op. Ah, there is, you can never find games. There's like, there's Call of Duty Zombies and there is Borderlands 2. At least around that time in gaming history, there was really only those two games you could sit in the same room with your friends and play the same game on the same screen. I, I like playing online with people. It's nice to have that option, but sometimes you just want to shit talk in the same room, you know? I also feel like Borderlands quite likes me. In return, I am obnoxiously lucky in that game. In the first time I ever played Borderlands 2, the first boss I ever killed, dropped a legendary. 10 minutes later, I opened a chest, second legendary. 20 minutes after that, I checked a vending machine, third legendary. It was ludicrous. My expectations for the rest of the game in terms of loot were kind of dashed as I realized that I had just gotten beginner's luck, but I still very much enjoy it as a game that gives you the opportunity to switch out weapons very quickly, play with your friends, and the story isn't half bad either. In making a drink, Borderlands. Uh, I was tempted to make one of the Mox Tales that you can get in the pre-sequel from Moxie at her bar, but there are actually already official uh, cocktails and official recipes for those. I didn't want to step on anyone's toes. Instead, I went a little bit more thematic with Iridium. Despite it being a major plot point of the games, we don't really know that much about Iridium other than that it's alien, it's mysterious, and it will mutate the crap out of you if you spend too long around it. So in making a drink named after it, I wanted to kind of capture that air of mystery and misdirection. So in this drink, if you look at it, it's got that nice purple color, that classic Iridium. It looks like it's gonna be this sweet sugar bomb of a drink. Don't get me wrong, this is a sweet drink, but the fact that we've added the Ardberg in there gives it this smack in the face of campfire to the whole drink. Uh, you sip it and it is like smoke and it's got fruit in there. And the blackberry liqueur does add a little bit of fruit sweetness as well, but the lemon pulls it back and just brightens everything up. 
I have honestly never tasted anything that's quite similar to this. Uh, so if you're looking for something a little bit different, I would highly recommend giving this drink a go. But yeah, this is the Iridium from Borderlands. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourself as much as I have. If you like what we're doing here, give us a like and subscribe. Head over to our socials for some extra cool stuff or to our Patreon for an extra recipe book. And if you want to see a particular game or cocktail, a cocktail gamified or a game cocktailized, we'll workshop it. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, we do read them when we do make them. We're creating new content every two weeks, uh, so I hope to see you then. But until then, cheers.